Good evening, thanks for joining us. Tonight from the I-Team, a 24-year veteran of the Mesa Police Department is under investigation after several women accused him of stalking them, intimidating them for sex, and physically assaulting them. And all of the women, police officers themselves. Tonight, the I-Team reporter Joe Dana uncovering the details. Joe? This report was written by a veteran detective of Mesa PD, and it reveals allegations going as far back as 1996. Scott Callender is working right now in uniform as an officer, despite this report that puts his conduct in question. <laughs> That's Scott Callender, a Mesa canine officer, training with his dog in 2014 after the dog was stabbed on duty. He's doing fine. He's back to pretty much 100% as you can. Calendar's been with the Mesa Police Force for nearly 25 years. And during those same years, three police officers who he has been romantically involved with accused him of serious violence. These allegations coming to light now after a fourth woman, this one a police officer in Gilbert, told co-workers Officer Callender broke two of her ribs. The Mesa Police Department opened a criminal investigation against the canine officer in May. The investigation went beyond the most recent allegations, first dating back to 1996, when a former Mesa police officer said she was trying to break up with Callender, and he, quote, punched her in the mouth and side of the face with his fist. He also, quote, threatened to shoot himself in the head. According to the reports, when the officer reported that abuse, she, quote, felt that her complaint had not been dealt with properly and that he should have been disciplined or fired for assaulting her in 1996. The allegations continue. Between 2005 and 2007, another police officer, still on the force today, was in a relationship with Callender. She said they would fight repeatedly and he would threaten to kill himself, one time straddling her on a bed so she couldn't move. He, quote, had a pistol in his hand and he put it to his own head and said, I'm going to blow my expletive head off. She reported his volatile behavior, but was told by leadership there was, quote, no cause for a suspension. She also alleged Officer Callender pointed his pistol at her. She was, quote, in such despair, she actually wished that he would pull the trigger, that she imagined dying and wondered, quote, how or what would he say to get out of that one? In 2010 and 11, while in a relationship with a third Mesa police officer, Callender allegedly threw her to the ground, causing her to bite her lip. She said at the time, Callender, quote, told her to go ahead and report it, asking her, quote, who she thought the police department would believe. According to the report, all three officers had reported portions of their encounters with Officer Callender in the past. It appears in one case, he was disciplined for disrespecting an officer. Then in 2017, Officer Callender allegedly broke his girlfriend's ribs and showed stalking behavior, according to at least two fellow officers who she confided in. The report states they can't charge Callender because the alleged victim is not cooperating with investigators. I think it's important for people to remember that law enforcement officers have a lot of power. Tasha Meneker is with the Arizona Coalition to End Sexual and Domestic Violence. And so if you're a survivor and you're being victimized by someone who's in law enforcement, that's an additional layer of fear and that's an additional barrier to coming forward. Someone who is harming and stalking their partner should not be out in the community as a law enforcement officer. And on May 8th, during the investigation, the department did send Callender home. Then in June, as the investigation was still ongoing, Officer Callender was allowed back to work. Just this week, police tell the 12 News I team the criminal case is closed without charges. But the Mesa Police Department's investigation concludes the past relationships, quote, could have resulted on numerous occasions in the arrest of Officer Callender for multiple misdemeanor and or felony domestic violence related charges. But all of these offenses are now past the statute of limitations. Officer Callender was not interviewed in the criminal investigation. We've made several attempts to reach him for comment, but have not heard back. We did speak with his ex-wife, Angela Callender, who tells us Scott was never physically violent towards her. He would just seem um, very codependent, he very needy. Angela says Scott at times seemed jealous. I was married to him, it was my husband. Um, there's always issues that occur, you know, in a relationship, but it's, you know, I was young. So some of it, I don't know if that's the normal or not. At least one of those Mesa officers who alleges abuse said she is still scared and leery of Officer Callender. Given that fact, we asked the department why Officer Callender is back at work. That decision was approved by the chief himself, 
A department spokesman tells us the women involved and officer calendar work different shifts and added he is on normal duty status. If something more is uncovered in our internal investigation, that could change. Guys, back to you. All right, Joe, thanks. If you have a story that you'd like the I-Team to look into, you can reach us at connect at 12news.com and also on our Facebook and Twitter pages as well.